Hey everybody, welcome back to the MedBros channel. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about high school. So I wanted to make this video and share a little bit of my high school experience, which um, let's just get into it, I guess. So everyone has their own favorite phase and everyone did school a little differently. So for myself starting off in elementary school, I actually really enjoyed my time all the way up until I guess when junior high started. So I was really enjoying school. Um, I would move around constantly from to new school to new school. I was always a new kid. We were just always moving. Nevertheless, I always still managed to find a good group of friends and I always fit in well. I was just a happy kid that, that just loved school. Always involved in sports and uh, you know messing around and getting in trouble and all that kind of stuff. I hit my great growth spurt pretty early. I, I was, um, I think at age 12, which was like sixth grade or something like that, I hit my great growth spurt and I was um, pretty much the height I am now with a mustache and facial hair coming in. So uh, never got bullied or anything like that, but uh, I was always doing kind of mischievous stuff. Like I remember one time I changed the clock cause I could reach the clock in sixth grade when the teacher wasn't looking. I changed the clock like 30 minutes ahead so we got out to reset so early. And uh, I got in a few fights here and there as well. Uh, but nothing ever too serious. For the most part, really, really enjoyed uh, my elementary school days. Uh, then moving on to junior high. Uh, junior high is when I went, uh, you know, I was going to private schools, public schools, uh, a mix like that. And then junior high is when I went to your typical, you know, school that was broken up by period, um, lockers, really big classes. And that's when um, things got a little weird. Uh, that's when the school got big enough to the point where I didn't really have a um, group but when you're a new kid in these kind of schools um, where it's a really large school and not everybody knows everybody and you're kind of in that weird awkward phase of maturing everyone's got their own friend groups and whatnot and this was kind of the beginning of um, figuring out where I would fit into the system especially being the new kid um, again, starting eighth grade. So junior high was alright. I joined the basketball team. I did find a, a, a solid group of friends to hang out with. Got through, got through junior high pretty uneventfully, um, and then went into freshman year with that same group of friends. So this is when high school started, and again, um, I had this group of friends. I was pretty um, comfortable with myself going into high school. Uh, I joined the basketball team. I was a pretty popular kid. Um, my freshman year of high school. Uh, pretty much everyone knew who I was. I knew a uh, majority of my class. I was friends with a lot of people. Um, played on the team. We did really well that season. I think we went undefeated that season actually. And I, I was a starter um, on that team. Yeah, I still keep up with some of the friends I had back then. Um, but it kind of still was the beginning of that. I never really had a crew that I could call my own. I never really fit into a, a specific friend group. Like I would, I would say, uh, I would definitely call them my friends, but we weren't very close. Um, while people were having their own groups, or having their own sleepovers, or having their own things, uh, I was kind of invited to them, but I just felt out of place. In terms of classes, I was doing all right. I always wanted to do well in school. It was weird. I was more obsessed with doing well rather than putting in the work to do well. This was a phase where I was just always like, I need to get my straight A's. I need to do well in school. Um, but I just didn't want to put in the work for some reason. I just never put in the work. I just always thought about putting in the work. I managed to get decent grades. I was doing all right. Uh, nothing, nothing amazing. The biggest fear in freshman year was probably swimming because like I said, uh, you can see I'm a little bit of a hairy guy and my friend group uh, was very not hitting, did not hit puberty at all at that point. So I was the only guy with chest hair or anything like that. So swimming in the pool was uh, a bit awkward. I, it, it's totally so funny to look back at some of these things now. Cause like who the hell cares? Like even kids in high school these days, I think are a lot more mature than they were uh, back in the day, back when I went to high school. Uh, it's just the stupidest stuff people would get ripped on back in the day. And I ended up getting a B in PE because I did not end up swimming. So that was my freshman year and it went by pretty uneventfully, but then a big change happened. So um, for the better and for the worst, and we'll get into that, is I moved to a new high school. 
a really, really large high school. Um, and being a new kid in high school, and on top of that being a really large high school, and on top of that not coming in your freshman year, coming in your sophomore year when everyone has their groups together, I knew absolutely nobody at this new school in this new city. You're kind of just cast into this kind of established environment. This was the beginning of a very long, long, long high school career for me. I started my sophomore year, and this was the year I decided, you know, look, I don't know anybody. Um, I'm really gonna just focus on my grades. I didn't even join the basketball team this year just because I was I really just wanted to uh, I was just frustrated with I was thinking about doing well and and all that stuff was cast aside like my basketball team my friends and I knew I just had uh, this was my opportunity to just hone in on my grades and on studying it was just such an awkward time like uh, I would try to make friends and talk to people but I just even more so than even when I knew people back in my freshman year like I told you guys I just felt like I was never part of the group and I never fit in it was way more so now where I just could not find a group of people in this giant class that I could fit into. So I spent a lot of the time alone um, for the next three years pretty much. Starting sophomore year, I would go to lunch and I would get these uh, $2 spicy chicken sandwiches, which were absolutely disgusting. But at the time I was so hungry that they tasted so good. And I would get like two or three of them eventually. I would take my little sandwich, I would go to my uh, corner of the cafeteria uh, and sit alone at a table. I did that for the first two weeks and then in the first two weeks there was actually a group of uh, four Indian girls that came and sat next to me. I wasn't sitting alone and they were really nice and they were cool until um, a couple weeks later one of the girls roasted one of her friends that was sitting at the table because apparently she uh, was telling her friends like she was kind of digging me. So she got roasted <laughs> and that made everything so awkward because she got roasted right there in front of me and everything just got so awkward and they just never came back. So that was the end of that. So it was back to being a loner after that. But I mean, it wasn't by any means that I was um, uncomfortable with this situation. Like I said, I wasn't being bullied. I wasn't being outcast for um, any reasons like I wasn't being antagonized uh, like in class I would have acquaintances I would you know we would banter we would, we would chat and we'd be fine and, and people would like me and I would like them and it'd be great but that's different than having a friend group you know once you get out of that classroom we're not gonna go hang out basically the overall point is I was content with the situation I really had no problems with sitting alone in my eyes again like the focus was great the focus was doing well I would uh, study I would read the book that my English class assigned me in the cafeteria by myself again everyone's different a lot of people's priorities might be you know being the cool kid at school or having lots of friends and fitting in for me uh, I was content I was totally fine with getting my work done with just chilling and hanging out by myself and you know going home and doing my own thing and shooting hoops on my own and um, and what made it you know a lot of people out there unfortunately are could be in the same situation and what made it better for me was uh, I had family so when I come home uh, Shaman was there. We definitely hanged out all the time back in the day. I think that's a reason why we're all so close. So I had things to do outside of school, uh, which made it a lot easier to be a loner at school. So basically I got through sophomore year and I absolutely hated high school at this point. There was nothing to look forward to. I would wake up so early. I lived 30 minutes away from school. I would drive across town. Um, sit through these grueling classes which I to this day the system in high school is just or just general school is totally not conducive to learning and I felt like I wasn't learning anything just having my time wasted uh, for six periods of the day all the way to about three o'clock and then come home and then repeat 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 it was really grueling it was horrible um, I don't know how any of you guys out there are making it through the same thing it's just high school was not fun for me at all. Uh, junior year was the worst. Junior year was the absolute worst. I put on a lot of weight junior year because I probably stopped playing basketball, working out, my metabolism was slowing. I got really heavy because I wasn't I wasn't feeling well about myself. I you know I didn't like the way I looked. I um, again it was just grueling day in day out school. Um, still didn't 
really have a group of friends at all. The only thing I really had going for me that kept me going was I was doing well in school. So I was getting my straight A's and uh, in all AP courses, I was getting all my straight A's, I was doing well in school. Basically this year, I fell into a little bit of a kind of a depression. I wouldn't call it a depression, a phase where I was just thinking all the time, just thinking about stuff, thinking about philosophies, thinking about myself. Kind of that phase in high school where they say like, you're figuring yourself out. Uh, I was totally doing that. I was just kind of figuring out who I was, where I fit into this whole system and the society, etc. Just uh, be very nostalgic at the same time. Like I would always be thinking about, oh man, like back in the day, like uh, we had our, you know, we had, I've to this day, like I mean, nostalgic, like thinking about our old house and just hanging out, playing video games, like me and Sean playing Pokemon, and uh, you know, just waking up to Saturday night cartoon, uh, Saturday morning cartoons and uh, just hanging out and just having a fun time and I would get really nostalgic. And I just came back a very confident person my senior year. Uh, that junior year I kind of figured like, you have one more le year left here, high school still sucks, you just get over it, you're gonna go to college, you can go and forge this person that you're, you're thinking you wanna be. So what I started to do is I got back in shape. Me and Shaman both uh, got onto P90X, P90X, uh, which was really, really hard if you stick to it. Like we stuck to the program and I lost so much weight. Kind of just that's like, like what's important to me? What's important to me is feeling good, getting, go uh, getting back on track myself and then getting high school out of the way. I just wanted to get out of there. Um, there was just nothing good about high school for me, unfortunately. Some people's best time in their lives might have been in high school, you know, going to prom and things like that. I missed out on that stuff. And do I feel like, you know, do I regret missing out on that stuff? Um, I really don't. But I did apply to, um, I, I did end up being the top percentage of my class. I don't think, the reason I didn't get valedictorian, salutatorian or anything like that, I didn't go to the school for, uh, the same school for four years, but I still graduated in the, uh, in the top of my class and they I got guaranteed admission to UC Davis back then They used to have this program where if you were the top of your class you get automatically admitted to one of the UC's uh, So I had UC Davis, but um, I did get accepted to UC Berkeley uh, Where you guys all know that me, Shaman, and Anthony went there um, Which was just crazy. That's a whole nother story in itself um, and UC Berkeley is a whole nother story in itself. But the main point uh, I wanted to get across in this video, the, the, the highs and lows are gonna be different for everyone's lives. Uh, for me, high school was an absolute low. I was not feeling good about myself. I was not, uh, you know, physically, mentally, just not in the best shape. And just, and just look back at those times, I'm just so glad that I'm out of there. Uh, but for some other people, it might be the best time of their life. So if you're in high school right now, you're not really enjoying it, you're not having a great time, just understand that that might be your low, but there are a lot of highs waiting for you after that mess. You just have to get through it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found it entertaining, and I'd love to hear your guys' comments on how your high school went and how your experience was down in the comments below. Be sure to leave a comment. Uh, check me out on Instagram. The link's in the description. And thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next one. Look at that. Look at you being a good boy. This is rare footage of him not biting my hand off, guys.